You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> See if you still got it. Oh, okay. All right. I don't think we ever really played much against you know, each other. We didn't. I was, I was too it. good. Yeah. I was too good. <laughs> I was yeah. too old, I think. Yeah. <laughs> he was past it by that point. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Liam Pitchford, UK number one table tennis player. My name is Zach Abel. I'm a singer songwriter. Oh! I'm here to meet Zach Abel. I'm here to hang out with a, a guy called Liam Pitchford. Hello, mate. Bring it in. Long time, nice Long time, nice yeah, good, man. How are you? Yeah. It's been it's been really inspiring to see um, to see your journey, man. Because I feel like you just went up another level. With like very like I suppose maybe in the the two years after I stopped, that's when you just yeah. jumped. Yeah. Uh, like, how was it? Like, obviously. You know, we were from, from different parts of the country and like down south. How was it like the training life when we were, you know, cadet and junior? It was exciting, man. It, I think, you know, because before then it was like Lily Shaw. Yeah. And um, I just remember like being invited to the, the camps was like an exciting time. Also to get to see you guys train with us and to, to train with you, the, the jump in level was, was, so, was so big. So it was nice for us to see, okay, if you carry on, this is how good you can get. You got your own blade now? Yeah. Oh, you made it! <laughs> <laughs> um, I remember there was like one tournament I played and I just had an amazing tournament. And it, they wrote an article about it and it was like, they said I was playing Liam Pitchford-esque. That, that was definitely an inspiration for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Decided when I was 15 to do my GCSEs a year early and essentially take a gap year and move to, to Henbon. Um, in Brittany and in, in France and um, I was playing I suppose like semi-pro like in was it national national uh, one yeah national art yeah. I think I, I, I didn't enjoy being lonely though out there I think that that's one thing which is different with music you're always collaborating yeah. um, how, how did you find that you know when you went to a different country and you're it, it was yeah it was tough you know, people think it's great, you know, you travel the world playing tournaments and, and playing table tennis and doing what you love, but it's, it's not quite as simple. A few years back, I helped out with Samaritans. It was around the, yeah, around the time I sort of, I, I'd left Germany. It was a couple of years later, I was sort of making my way back to sort of enjoying table tennis. And the psychologist that I was working with basically recommended that you know, I had to sort of tell my story. Um, it would help me, you know, move on a little bit better. So I actually ended up doing a magazine article with Esquire. You know, I felt like if I can even help just one person, like obviously it's, it's good for me. And it's, you know, once it went out and I was happy with it, you know, I got back on, you know, back in training. I felt like, you know, everything's out on the table. I've got nothing to hide. Like, you know, I've got no, I've got nothing to be scared of anymore. But. Thank you. Cheers. Well done. Nice one. Still got it. Still got it. <laughs>